What's up guys, Express here back with another video. Now this video is an eSports design. It will use Photoshop and After Effects as well. So what we'll make is something like this. I have a new project on my Behance. This is some eSports designs from Valorant and League of Legends. We'll probably do League of Legends in this tutorial. So there's some basic um, animation, display your work a bit better, processing it as a GIF as well. So once we're in Photoshop, just make a new file. You can uh, 1080, of course, with Illusion 720. Um, then, of course, uh, I want the new uh, character um, of um, League of Legends. So we have this one, I think is kind of cool. And then also this one um, is also pretty cool. You can do this with Valorant. You can do this with Call of Duty. It's, it's up to you really what you want to do with it. Um, what you want to do, of course, is drag those in Photoshop. So yeah, every single shortcut you'll be able to see on top of me. So that's easier. So you see what I'm pressing and also see how I do it. And then I want to go and unlock the background. Then just alt backspace to fill in the background and you have a nice golden background, of course. Because we're doing this, we're going to move this project in After Effects. Make sure you like name your layers this time you need to name your layers because otherwise if you open up after effects then you don't know which layer is what of course so i'm just going to call this background you can call this whatever nice font so just click once i'm gonna make it smaller of course and then type that as well uh, this font was in one of my uh, fonts video so if you don't know that you can always check that out a font but it's stretched out and i kind of like uh, what i like to do is like make a little um, rectangle on the bottom and we're going to fill them in uh, with the darker color. Something, again, that fits the theme. So we have this dark purple here everywhere. I'm gonna fill that in with a dark uh, alt backspace. And you have this nice little uh, bar as well. I like to do them at the bottom and on the top as well, but it's up to you really uh, what you like to do. We're gonna make a rectangle there. Then we're gonna take our brush. If I go too fast, you can always pause the video and um, re-watch it again. So yeah, take the brush. How I made that bigger and smaller, I pressed Alt and right key on your mouse and drag to the left and to the right. And if you want the hardness, it's up and down. It's really handy. It's a nice shortcut. Yeah, just try to learn it. It's really easy. And then I dab a little with that right there. And I think that effect is really cool. And then what I like to do is go to filter, um, noise, and add a bit of noise. Just a four or like maybe three and add a bit of noise on that. I think that has a nice look to it because in After Effects, we'll put like a noise texture plane on top of it that I think also looks uh, really nice. So yeah, we have some basic text right now. What I like to do to that uh, as well is put another rectangle below the character, but just a bit bigger with, of course, a darker color, all backspace as well, like so. So you have a bit of depth. I'm going to just have a little dab of um, like a, maybe a white dab like that will always fit in my opinion, dab of bright. Uh, bright color. We'll use this one. I think this one looks better as well. We'll make it smaller with Ctrl T and then we'll put it around here somewhere, maybe on the left, maybe on a bit smaller as well. I'm going to give the color overlay of that white, the same white, like so. I'm going to maybe position it a bit more to the right. Make a little rectangle above, like so, with a nice slight purple color. And then we take our rectangle and our brush, take a black color and we can have like a little dabs all over the place, make this one bigger as well. And we can make it a bit smaller like so. And we can have something like that. And we can maybe put one here as well. And then dab a couple of parts right there. And then we can afford go to filter, noise, add a slight noise to that. And maybe the background, wanna, you, wanna, you wanna spice up the background a bit. And what I like to do, is maybe some more rectangles because we have an all over team with rectangles we just want to put more rectangles in the bag make a new layer and a clipping mask on top of the layer so how you want to do that is make a new layer holding alt and go between those two layers. You have this little arrow, click once with the left uh, key on your mouse. Then I wanna take like a bright purple and fill that in on the right side and left as well. And then maybe a darker color like this one. I wanna fill, make a new layer of course. Also clipping mask. And then I wanna maybe color in the bottom with a complete black as well and then i just want to do another clipping mask maybe with a white 
just for a couple of highlights like something like this just like the top one I'll move victory there you go I like that better I like that better yeah I changed the text again um, yeah I'm a bigger fan of this so yeah yeah I'll keep it like that everything is named so on top of that we'll just have like a brightness and contrast of the contrast a bit and the brightness as well and then on top of that we also have levels change the levels like so not too much and um, then what I want as well is the vibrance a bit up just to take your attention a bit and then also maybe hue and saturation uh, we can also always change the color to something more fitting I don't know I'll take a brush like so and then like you can change the second half to whatever make sure these layers are like in a single little map and just call them CC's there you go and if you remove them then the project looks completely different as well so what you want to do is just go to file and save as a normal PSD so once we're in After Effects you want to just um, drag your um, PSD into the into After Effects like so you want to make sure that's an edible layer otherwise you will not see your PSD then what you will see here is eSports tutorial composition on that like double click on that like so uh, you have your like your PSD in there you, all, you see all your layers on the left side as well so what I want to do is of course find your character I think that is that yes you want to click on that and what I want to do is make the scale a bit bigger so you, do, you click on this little uh, arrows and then scale make like uh, I guess uh, maybe a hundred and six like so yes of course but first we want to hurt to like jump in and then jump out again so yeah uh, also we want to make the project like maybe five seconds to make like a nice gif out of it if you want to show it to I don't know uh, clients or anything like that or behance so what you want to do is click on position but first maybe like move like uh, half a second so we have like one second there and then maybe like half a second like that press position then go back to the beginning and you want to drag her maybe zoom it out a bit click and hold in shift and drag her all the way out of your uh, composition and then press play and whoop she's in there right like so and then of course I want her to move out out of the composition again at the end so I'm gonna control C control V that again and then the of course the begin one needs to be the end and then the end one needs to be the beginning so floop she's out again floop she's in again see so it's a nice um, cycle of like nice just a nice cycle so I'm selecting them right clicking them and um, easy E them so it will have something like this floop and then of course five seconds and floop. it's a bit faster and it's a bit smoother because you easy E it if you click on this little graph you'll see it's, it's a nice curve to it you can edit this curve as well but that's not necessary for this uh, tutorial sake so yeah and now I want her to like wiggle a bit so what I'll do is um, press alt on position and then we'll type in wiggle and um, click on this if you if you can double click so yeah wiggle maybe 2.5 then press play you see the, the character is a bit shaking and that's what I want so like just shaking a bit if you want less shake you just change so yeah and then you of course you want to do the rest so I want the text as well and maybe uh, the sidebar as well so what we want of course is the text so this is the text so we do the same thing uh, go to uh, position um, half a second so everything is like uh, fits with the rest like whoop she is in here so we place that there and then the other position um, of course select the text drag it all the way to hold and shift and drag it all the way to the bottom like so press play floop it's a bit slow but we can make it faster so we want her um, the character and the text at the same time so where is my uh, character right there so I want it a bit faster so it will look something like this now floop okay and then of course we duplicate that move it at the end so it will um, change those positioning so it will go away at the end as well like so rope and it's gone it's back up okay sure it works I want to select them of course again right click uh, easy E okay now what I want to do is again um, the bottom bar I want to also move that in as well so I think it's really nice really simple but you know it spices up your design a bit and now what I want is these little rectangles I just want to wiggle them as well like the main character so I will just small bars those are the those are the small bars okay 
um, press click it press P and then press alt on this little um, um, stopwatch then of course type in wiggle double click this and then we can like 2.2 2.2 and then let's check that out the wiggle on that maybe like a bit more wiggle maybe four or five let's see let's see how that looks that's a baby uh, too much too much aggression on the shake three point five maybe and now the finishing touches of course i want to add like a little grain effect and we'll just do the easy way let's we'll just go to youtube and you type um just search on uh, on, on google um grain um, texture like so and um of course a video behind it drag it in into your project there you go put it on top of everything now it's just black but you just want to right click go to blending mode and press add i think it is yes i will see how that looks like so i think that looks really nice it, so what you want to do is of course you want to make it a small size so you want to put it in photoshop so what i do is composition and add to uh, media and the cube and in media and count the queue, I can um, change how it will look, um, how much gigabytes or megabytes it will be. So yeah, um, give it a second to open. So it has opened, you wanna click on HD264. All right, I'll put this, and then you wanna go all the way down to bitrate. You wanna press VBR2 pass. You wanna click on um, target, you wanna have around two, so it is like not too big, and maximum around five. And then you can see the size will like be like a kilobyte, or even a megabyte so it will be really small so you press ok and then of course for the output you want to click on this and then you can um, put it everywhere you want so press eSports e tutorial press save and then press this little play button and it will put that out there um, so yeah there you go it's saved I'm gonna close that down we don't need that anymore we're back in Photoshop and what we want to do is of course file open and then you want to go to videos and you want to open your eSports tutorial there you go you have your timeline open and everything if you press play if you press spacebar you will have your project um, played before you there you go it will look something like that and uh, of course what you want to do is go to file export save for web uh, save for web is how i save my gifs and everything uh, yeah that will take a while because it's pretty big that's why i didn't say make it um now it is 64 uh, bits so I want to have of course a, uh, 128 so the colors are more in depth and everything so it just because preview on Twitter and everything uh, the size needs to be a bit smaller so yeah let's see if you scale it down like 50% let's see how how many megabytes it is there you go nine megabytes is a lot better let's save and let's save it um, pictures esports tutorial save I will look something like this um, it will just be an, an infinite loop on, of your project but yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you learned something uh, about this uh, I hope it will update your uh, I don't know your esports projects or your maybe in the future I will make something interesting with a um, maybe you can like make uh, make a head look a bit better with like jumping into it maybe shining in a bit I don't know if you want more like a full-fledged after effects tutorial let me know uh, i'm still learning after effects as well so if i'm not that good uh, in it uh, that's why but i think it will spice us up your project it will spice up your behance if you show your project moving people are more interested in moving pictures than still pictures this is the first time at doing after effects tutorial anyways i enjoyed it if you enjoyed it as well let me know i will do more in the future when i've learned more um yeah i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys of course in the next one peace